Why am I going to Washington, D.C. next week? And why am I doing all of this work to bring attention to the Afghan Adjustment Act? Here's a short story. In a small Afghan village, a young man named Farid worked as a translator for the United States military, hoping to promote peace in his war-torn country. However, his work caught the attention of the Taliban, leading to the tragic deaths of his father and older brother. Devastated, Farid applied for an Afghan special immigrant visa to protect his remaining family and come to the United States. The process was long and challenging, filled with uncertainty. Despite his determination, Farid's SIV application was never approved, leaving him to face the harsh reality of his dangerous situation and the ever-present threat to his family's safety. An Afghan SIV or special immigrant visa is a special type of visa granted by the United States government to Afghan citizens who have helped the United States military or other American organizations in Afghanistan. This visa allows these individuals and their families to safely move to the United States, providing them with a chance to start a new life and escape potential threats or persecution in their home country because of their work with the United States. This was the situation for many Afghans who risked their lives and the lives of their families before August 15th, 2021. Following the rapid collapse of the Afghan government and the Taliban's takeover of the country, the United States and its allies launched a massive evacuation effort to rescue U.S. citizens, Afghan allies, and vulnerable Afghans from potential Taliban murder and torture. Afghans at risk include female judges, NGO workers, and others who might face persecution for their beliefs and just who they are to oppose the Taliban. The evacuation took place primarily at the main airport in Kabul, where tens of thousands of people gathered hoping to secure a flight out of the country. Military and commercial aircraft were utilized in the airlift, evacuating over 120,000 people including U.S. citizens, Afghan SIV applicants, and other at-risk Afghans. Despite the massive scale of the evacuation, many at-risk Afghans were left behind, and concerns remain about their safety and future prospects under the Taliban regime. Farid found himself amidst the chaos of the Afghan evacuation in August 2021. Amidst the confusion and uncertainty, he managed to board a flight that ultimately led to the United States, leaving behind his remaining family members who were forced to hide from the Taliban. Upon arriving in the United States, Farid faced bureaucratic hurdles. His SIV application remained unprocessed, and he had no permanent resident status. With no other options, he decided to apply for asylum in the traditional way. This path was expensive, costing him over $1,200, and it meant waiting for three to four years for a green card. Sometimes families can apply for a fee waiver if they're under the poverty line, but if they're working and they are not under the poverty line, they have to pay $1,200 per family member to apply for their green card. Farid tried to adapt to life in the United States, finding a low-paying job to make ends meet while attending community college in the evenings. He struggled with feelings of guilt, knowing that his family still faced danger back in Afghanistan. Then he received terrible news. His little brother had gone missing. Farid's heart sank, weighed down by the uncertainty of his sibling's fate and the safety of his remaining family. Every day he anxiously checks for updates from home, hoping for news that would alleviate his fears. He also anxiously awaits word about his own permanent status, living in the country that promised to take care of him and his family for the work that he did for the U.S. military. Farid's story highlights the difficulties faced by countless Afghan evacuees as they try to rebuild their lives in the United States, all while grappling with the haunting memories of their homeland and the loved ones they had to leave behind. U.S. citizens must care about Afghan allies who bravely supported our mission, often at great personal cost. It's our moral duty to ensure they receive permanent status and a chance to thrive. We owe them this because of our involvement in Afghanistan. By urging politicians to pass the Afghan Adjustment Act, we can uphold American values of compassion and loyalty. 
Let's honor their sacrifices and fulfill our promise to our allies by providing them and their families a better future.